Because of its impact on the community, CareNet really couldn't shut down over this past month. Instead, it restructured its process to continue helping people. 25 News anchor Joe Gum has more. When the coronavirus shut down businesses and organizations a month ago, Thank you for calling CareNet Pregnancy Center. This is Grace. How can I help you? CareNet Pregnancy Center of Waco remained open for the hundreds of families that depended on its countless services. Just in the past month, we have served 400 women with material assistance, and 120 of those were new. But for CEO Deborah McGregor and her team, remaining open meant reorganizing procedures that involved a hands-on care approach with pregnant women. Am I going to have any staff that's even available to serve them because everybody was afraid and the exposure was uncertain and so I didn't even know if we were going to be able to be open. I'll give the millennials uh, a big hoorah. They were the first ones to say sign me up. And part of signing up meant assisting the 28 women and children who were housed on property trying to rebuild from the loss of income, housing, jobs, transportation and broken relationships. That would include 21-year-old Angelica Bean, a domestic violence survivor and a single mom of three small children. This place is beautiful. Um, they're very kind. When I got here, I was very skeptical because I've been in other programs before. Like I never felt love growing up, and you can feel the love when you walk in. A love that goes beyond housing and giving away curbside packages with free items like diapers, formula, clothes, food, and wet wipes. We were actually able to go back three years and every woman that had had a positive pregnancy test, we were able to call her and ask her, how are you doing? Uh, is there anything that you need? How can we help? And then meet those needs. For Angelica, she has dreams of becoming a successful and wealthy attorney one day in hopes of returning the favor and meeting the needs of others. I'm giving back to the community because they gave to me when I didn't have nothing. Um, I have a nice house with a big backyard and my kids are in school and I'm raising my kids in a godly way because if it wasn't for God, um, I would not be here. Joe Gum, 25 News in Waco. Joe, thank you. Now, to give you an idea, CareNet said the materials that you just saw in those storage cabinets will be gone in about a week. That's just how high in demand that they are. Now, if you would like to donate diapers, baby food, clothes, or wet wipes, their information is right there on your screen.